a number for Wednesday, students. Join me as you learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jirel, and welcome to our class. Have you ever wondered where and when you would use your math skills in real life? Take this for example, radical expressions. Radical expressions are utilized in financial industries to calculate formulas in depreciation, home inflation, and interest. Electrical engineers also use radical expressions for measurements and calculations. Biologists compare animal surface areas with radical exponents for size comparisons in scientific research. For today's session, we will learn how to add and subtract radical expressions. Are you ready, students? Come on! And let's begin our number four journey. Before we proceed to the lesson, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience with Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. Check the description box to learn more. As we learn how to add and subtract radical expressions, we will answer these three questions. First, what are radical expressions? Second, what are the parts of radical expressions? And lastly, what are the things to remember in adding and subtracting radical expressions? Are you ready? Come on! And let's begin. What is a radical expression? Any expression that contains the square root of a number is a radical expression. The expression read as nth root of x raised to m is called a radical. The symbol is called the radical sign. The radical sign indicates a process of extracting roots. The positive integer n is called the index or order of the radical. It is the denominator of the rational exponent. Meanwhile, the expression inside the radical sign x raised to m is called the radicand. The exponent m is the numerator of the rational exponent. If no index appears in the radical expressions, it is understood that the index is 2. Now that we know what radical expressions are, let's find out how to add and subtract radical expressions this time. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's review algebraic expressions first. In an algebraic expression, two terms are said to be similar if each term has exactly the same variable and degree. Now, take a look at this expression. In this expression, the first and third terms are similar with the variable a in the first degree. On the other hand, the second and fourth terms are similar with the variable b in the first degree. Since there are terms that are similar, we can simplify the expression by combining like terms. Hence, the final answer is eight a plus fourteen b. This rule applies to radical expressions as well. Similar radicals are radicals of the same order and have the same radicand. In combining similar radicals, Add or subtract its numerical coefficient and copy the common radical. Take a look at this expression. Since the terms are similar, we can simplify the expression by combining the like terms. Hence, 
Hence, the final answer is 7 square root of 2. Fantastic! Let's try adding and subtracting more radical expressions. Can you answer this? Let's try! Since the terms are similar, we can simplify the expression by combining the like terms. In combining similar radicals, add or subtract its numerical coefficient and copy the common radical. Hence, the final answer is 12 square root of 3. Very good! How about this one? What did you notice? Great! The radical expression this time contains unlike terms. If the radicands are not the same, then we cannot add or subtract the radicals yet. We need to simplify the radicals before we can proceed with adding and subtracting. Now, Let's try to simplify the radical expression earlier. To simplify radical expressions, the key step is to always find the largest perfect square factor of the given radicand. Next, break them into a product of smaller square roots and simplify. After simplifying, we will have like terms that we can combine. In combining similar radicals, add or subtract its numerical coefficient and copy the common radical. Hence, the final answer is negative 5 square root of 2. Splendid! Let's try another example. Check this out! This expression also contains unlike terms. Let's simplify the radicals first before we can proceed with adding and subtracting. Again, to simplify radical expressions with dissimilar terms, we first find the largest perfect square factor of the given radicand. Then, break them into a product of smaller square roots and simplify.
After simplifying, we will have like terms that we can combine. Since we have similar terms, we can now add or subtract its numerical coefficient and copy the common radical. Hence, the final answer is 30 square root of x minus 41 square root of y. Awesome! That was fantastic, students! Now, let's go back to our three questions earlier. Any expression that contains the square root of a number is a radical expression. The expression read as nth root of x raised to m is called a radical. The symbol is called the radical sign. The radical sign indicates a process of extracting roots. The positive integer n is called the index or order of the radical. It is the denominator of the rational exponent. Meanwhile, the expression inside the radical sign x raised to m is called the radicand. The exponent m is the numerator of the rational exponent. If no index appears in the radical expressions, it is understood that the index is 2. Similar radicals are radicals of the same order and have the same radicand. In combining similar radicals, add or subtract its numerical coefficient and copy the common radical. Remember, if the radicands are not the same, then we cannot add or subtract the radicals yet. We need to simplify the radicals first before we can proceed with adding and subtracting. You did great, kids! I hope you learned a lot about radical expressions today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And of course, to experience the magical learning at home, enroll in Viva's Happy Homeschool program. Check the link in the description box to learn more. Again, this is Teacher Jarel and see you on our next Numberful Wednesday.